Hey there everyone, Coolest Fish here, and I am going to show you today how to draw a string fish or sacculin time in, uh, yes it's the fish from Animal Crossing, uh, in Procreate on the iPad. I'm going to start off with some basic lines here, and yeah, so I'll keep doing the basic line work, and then I will take those lines uh, make, duplicate the layer, and then select it so I can't uh, mess anything up. And then I will color the whole thing in entirely in the same color. And I'll make a second layer and go on top of that. And at first I tried with some this kind of weird green that I didn't really like. Um, so you'll see I end up deleting that eventually. There it goes, and I start a little bit lighter this time, a little bit, and then I delete that again. I go through this a few times before I get something I like. See, I'm kind of starting with this this brownish green color here, kind of slowly filling in some stuff. I'm using the acrylic brush here. And for the basic line drawing underneath, I used a um, round brush with the uh, streamline turned on. So I'm starting to do some of the basic colors of the head, some of the 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 deeper greens, a little bit of the orange and yellow on the jaw down below. Um, oh, and now I'm going in and it's just completely, I selected everything, remember, so um, I can't go outside the lines. And yeah, I just colored the whole back half bright red, like the breeding male uh, string fish. And uh, I did a little bit of white on the underside. Um, and now I'm starting to do some more of the, those little black spots on the face. I'm kind of doing those one by one. A uh, little, uh, you can really use any brush for that. I just used kind of like a painterly kind of, uh, one of the painting brushes, really tiny one, a little acrylic, I think it's wet acrylic maybe. Um, so yeah, so I, I do all the details of the head with the, the black dots. I start on the pectoral fin, I kind of make that a deep purple. I kind of keep filling it in, going on top of it. Do a little bit of white highlights on the fin and also on the um, gill cover there on the back of the head. And yeah, and I, I used a um, smaller pencil on the inside to get the, the shadows and the, the pink colors on the inside of the mouth. Uh, I got a little bit of the eye, the back of the eye there with a little bit of pink. Went around with the pink brush again and kind of did a little bit of a wash on some of the spots on the um, parts of the head. And now I'm going in with a little bit of white and kind of shading in towards the fins there. Um, some colors. Um, now I'm, I um, created a multiply layer um, with a dark blue and now I'm kind of using that. Uh, coloring on the edges. Uh, and you'll see I also changed the mess with the opacity a bunch as well. Um, so kind of going in and just adding a lot of the darker colors. Uh, it really makes the, the top of it look really nice. Um, this is another separate layer. Uh, I think I set this to add, and this was just pure white uh, for some of the really bright highlights, and I messed with the opacity again to kind of um, make it a little less obnoxious. And this is where I start putting in all the scales. I just took a little tiny acrylic brush and just added them in one by one in little rows. And keep in mind the scales are a separate layer and they're add and it's just a pure white. And I'm also going to change the opacity a little bit too so it won't be pure white the entire time. Thank you. 
And now you can see the scales are a lot lighter because I changed the opacity. And now I'm adding in the background. Um, so that is, I just used the Salamanca brush, I believe it's called, in the background. And then I added some text on top. First, I tried to write Japanese Thai Men, which is what this is. Um, and then I decided to use the Syrup um, inking brush to write it in Japanese, uh, which I believe is Itao. I, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but um, that's what the fish is called in Japan. And and then I'm finished. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, that is how to draw a string fish in Procreate on the Apple iPad with the Apple Pencil. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions for what I should draw next. Thanks.